Sex is there. Sex is not bad. In the Bhagavad Gita it is says, Dharma Viruddha Kamosmi. Sex life, which is not against the religious principles of life, that is am. Krishna says. Dharma Viruddha, according to Vedic civilization, one should have sex indulgence only once in a month. That is the prescription. And when the wife is pregnant, there is no sex life. That is Dharma Viruddha. That is not against the religious principles. Even in your wife, married wife, if you indulge sex life more than once in a month or in pregnancy, that is against religious principle. The Krishna says, dharma abhuruddha kamasmi, lust, sex indulgence, which is not against the rules of religious principles, that is I. That means only for begetting children, nice children, so that there may not be disturbance. Unless there are nice population, Children born in a systematic way. How you can expect peace in the world? That is described in the Bhagavad. When there are Varna Sankar, uh, the whole world becomes hell. This is described in the Bhagavad Gita. So the life of austerity begins from the life of celibacy, Brahmacharya. Uh, uh, there are eight types of different regulations to stop sex life. Uh, but these things are very difficult in this age. Therefore we have simply summarized that don't have sex life uh, beyond the marriage life. That is not good. We have given a simple formula that no illicit sex. Fix up your mind in Krishna's lotus feet and pray that I am eternal servant. Now I am engaged in the service of my sense gratification. And you please help me now. I have come to my senses to engage me in your sense gratification. The business is there, sense gratification. But the consciousness means instead of satisfying one's own senses, one should be ready to satisfy the senses of that is Krishna consciousness. It is not very difficult. In order to control your mind, in order to control your senses, if you simply divert your activities for Krishna or you act in Krishna consciousness, then you become the perfect yogi. This Krishna consciousness movement is not any concocted idea or a bluffing movement. It is authoritative based on Vedic authority, and Bhagavad Gita is there, Srimad Bhagavat is there, accepted by all the acharyas. So, if you kindly take advantage of this Krishna consciousness movement and try to accept this devotional yoga system, bhakti yoga, uh, bhakti yogena sevat, mancha bhavicharina. Bhakti Yogena Seva. This Bhakti Yoga, Sagunan Samatita Gita, he immediately transcends all the influence of the three material modes of nature. If you want to solve the problems of life without any difficulty, very easily, then this is the movement, Krishna consciousness. Very simple and easy. Simply come and chant and dance, eat and take prasadam, go home happily. Thank you.